<laughs> and the worst of the worst. <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, my teachers. This is again my home. This is my mentor. So hands and hand. Okay. And basically, most of the people you see today. So you probably didn't meet yet. It's George, Lili, Yesko, and Pajak. So everybody else here you saw today. So. Um, like usually, like I said, we're doing the master class, like uh, uh, it's a questions and answers. Yep. So probably they will have some questions. questions yes. Mm -hmm. If you can, you can choose whatever is the best question and answer. If mm -hmm. uh, you have something to say from the whole of that question, so very welcome to answer like, immediately for everything. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so don't be shy. It's very, very simple. If you want to have an answer you understand, it's from N. <laughs> and if you want an answer where you, where you get more confused, please, please, want, please feel well, welcome. And if you want to be entertained, you go to Kid. <laughs> if you want to be bored, you go to Kid. I think that's fine. That sort of sums us up. 50 years of together. Um, so, what kind of questions so, have you got? Enjoy that, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. I would like to know, uh, going in and out of or performing over swaves or over sway Broadway. Yeah. Well, that was a, quite a, a warm one. Um, <laughs> if we say uh, uh, would you like to answer that, Mr. Lex? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we start with something like a, a throwaway over sway, for instance, yes. I think it combines the always of at least three things. One is rotation, one is stretch, and you have the third, which is foot pressure. So basically, if you do, a, if I'm going to do a throwaway over sway, it starts with rotation, and I can do as much as rotation as I really like, or rather, the man can do as much as rotation as he likes. But what, the more rotation we have, the more stretch we have. So as a lady, I feel would you like to assist me? This is an over sway as we yeah. used to do it. Throwaway over sway. Throwaway over sway. Yeah, throw so hands will start. I'm just right. following at the moment. It's not me. We will start rotating. Uh, can you start with your left foot? So then okay. I will like, well, throw it so I don't have to start doing this. So from here, I start rotating around him, and then I stretch. So I can come up. So that is one that will stabilize. If we only rotate, if I only rotate from here, our centers will go off each other. But I do feel that the man starts it off. He sets off the line, but now really I'm taking over. I'm going more and more and more as my old stiff back can take. <laughs> yes. So that is really so. So there are certain, and I just actually had a, a young lady. This is a very good one to, to use. As a lady, I feel I move on to my own floor. This is a man. I move on, and then my right foot has to be diagonal to the man. Now, you can see my left toe is in line with my right heel. Now I continue down the floorboards and stretch. So it's really important that you don't have both feet level because then you will find you will fall. It's very important also, I think, that today, maybe very old times, they used to take it out in line with the uh, right heel here. But for many years, it's really been to get create the maximum opening up, but still feeling safe. So I feel from here, I stretch to the left. So if I'm in this position, I would rest on the man's leg and that would be very comfortable. So it's a nice one that although I'm following the man, I still have a feeling from here that I can stand on my own foot. And of course, when I then need to come out, very easy to come out from my right leg, right foot, that will take, because once we are on the foot, it's very easy if we're going up to do a line, coming down. If it's all happening from the standing foot, uh, the standing leg, it becomes very light for the man. If you do here and try to come out with a top, it won't work. Yeah, so it's all coming from the leg of standing foot. And both sides are forward toward the man. Well, again, I feel that I'm not trying to keep both sides of the man, but I do use the man's, I do use the man's right side and his body as such. Come here, come here. If I'm standing here, I'm slightly closer with my left side. Now, as I move in, I rotate my center around hands 
So I'm allowing myself, and he's allowing me to roll my body from having the left side closer to having the right side closer. But then I'm thinking not two very long sides. You will see that the line is to my right side slightly longer, but it doesn't really mean that I've dropped. Again, coming back to the left shoulder blade earlier, I feel my left shoulder blade is really the support of my being, the support of my dancing. If I ever drop that, and that goes to see the man. If he's ever down with this left shoulder blade, well, let me get the right shoulder. And no matter how much I've tried to put the right shoulder back, it'll always, as soon as I get tired, but if I take the left side, so I feel we are dancing always with the left shoulder blades past each other, which gives us very long lines, and also which makes it not that we don't have really contact in saying, Contact, we have to say together. Our lines are dancing, I am dancing past, hands is dancing past, and therefore, yes, there's a light kind of contact here, there's also a light kind of contact in the hands, but it's always moving past each other. And although I, I'm saying, just I'm, I'm saying that we are rotating, again, I'm not really thinking of a fixed point. I'm aware of my left shoulder be, I'm aware now that we are slightly together. We are together, but we are certainly not standing on top of each other. Yeah. That was very well now. So now you can see there's nothing wrong with talking. Was that enough? Did you understand all of that? Yes. So the ladies, I would say, find it that chair, find a chair, and just get used to this feeling before you go down. So would you like to take over now? No, I was just say the man can ruin this very oh, quickly. If we take the uh, end force cross, the end is what's crushed, and then we go in. This is normally how we do it. If the man takes a big step at the wrong time, that's all we have. And you're in. The end is what's crushed. If I take now a step back and I all drop my left leg, the leg is never going to get there. Nearly impossible. So you can see if I take a step in and get his walks, we are come up. My next step, although my center is up to the leg, is just the knees together. All I'm doing now, I just go on the foot and turn and this will come out. So the extension comes not because I take a big step here, it comes because I stop here and you take into the step. Are you ready? Yam pam pam yam, and the lady go. But if I take the big step, you can see it's impossible for the lady to go. So all the men are behind me. take the left foot back, but the knees are together. I show you first. I put the weight on my left foot, and I expand the right leg up. Yes, very good. That's all we do. Over here, and then you turn it over. That's correct. And what you should not do is this. Take a big step here. You can never get around here. What if the lady takes a big step? <laughs> well, you're on the inside of the turn. So, of course, if she, I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, she never take big steps. Never. Never. She would turn around her beautiful right side. I would never. Head. I would never say to something you should not do that. Go and try it. If she smiles and she comes back and wants to dance with you again, <laughs> she sees it. If she's not smiling. Yeah, I know there's something wrong. So you're not listening to see where her foot is before you plant yours. He never, <laughs> he never listens. No way. I'm trying to do my own stuff. That's hard enough. The end is one cross. Then the lady is gone. And then I lift my own body. I'm really very much actually do what I should do myself and not disturb her balance. And also, really, you have to remember that if I stay, I mean, our normal position is that I'm to the, from me to the left, which is fine. And even in a throw over way, I'm not going to, although I'm turning my, my body, I'm, then I'm turning from the behind the seat, 
I'm turning here. I'm not really turning to the other side of him. I'm still staying on this right side. So it's only really turning on the side. Yeah. If we're talking about lines, there's another thing that's really important. And for the men, it's a good way to practice for men and ladies. Men, put your hands folded behind your head. And now from here, we move into because in that way you will feel that your head is ending off exactly where it should be. It's very easy, you see very often that the men are over here or over there, and trying to correct the head is always a bad thing. Because if you try to correct your head, it always becomes a, it always looks like the wrong. It, it can very, and also the lady can do the same, but of course we have more, much harder steps to do. Just holding my waist. Oh, oh, oh. Been a long time on that. <laughs> so, and just helps you stabilize that I move from here and I move forward and now I rotate because then I can also feel rotating but I'm staying that way out so in that way again instead of what I very often see is that the lady if the lady comes from here and either she's a little bit late she starts turning and then gets the head up or she's a little bit too early and turns the head and get out. So the timing of it's really important, but it should be coming from your standing legs. So the whole back, the, the whole back, the back and the head is turning together. The standing leg in that case being the right, is the right one. one. Yes. Right. Yeah. So get a good exercise, but it's, it's easier if the man just sort of supports you around the waist. Yeah. That's the right idea. If you're normal, and this is really for anything, because once you have your hips moving, you can find sometimes. But you know, you say, "Man, this doesn't be like, too wild. This is too extreme." It's never too extreme, really. If I'm going to do a topple, to, uh, topple turn, I can be here, and this is not extreme because there's a line from my tailbone to the top of my head. Then I can go the other way, and I can be there again. It's not too extreme because it's part of my spine. And then I go up, for instance, to a hob or whatever. Not too extreme because it's happening, because my hips are changing the line, and therefore my spine is one long part to the top of the head. Yeah? Hips look the parts of the kitchen. Hands from that light question. <laughs> no. Any other questions? A good question. Very good question. I have a very easy to say to you one of the things you should be aware of why you will come up with a lot of questions but you never get to the root of the problem if you if you walk on the street we walk, we walk like this we walk on two tracks and this is the way we walk we've got eyes in this and this here but if we apply that natural feeling to dance then you see the ladies here. If she comes up to me, you take a hold. Because we are very close, I will turn my nose to the left. My left side goes away. And we've got a bit of a problem when we walk because it feels like I don't know where to put my legs. And the right side goes down. So you cannot apply the same way of walking as you do when you have two legs and when you have four legs. And you will notice that if I walk here, <coughs> And I stand here. I have two corridors. I have one corridor I walk in here for my face. I have one corridor for my partners. And I never look. If you look, you're in trouble. So if the lady goes up to me, you can see we stand in this position. And notice how I walk diagonally. I go in toe. I go diagonally. You between each other's feet and there's space. Hang on toe. Another way. Toe, 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 toe. Not the normal walking. And toe, outside partner. And here. That's not natural. <coughs> If you apply that to dancing, I have a natural turn, then you'll see you start about here, then you go up to the partner, then to the hip to the lift, and then you start your natural turn. 
and the right side go down. When you see good dancers, they do CBM first, and it's quite complex. If you did it as a competitor, then you stand in here, and you see we go past each other, and we go to the side. Now I can rotate to this position, and if I keep walking, you can see I walk here, and then I can do turn. Now I walk diagonal, spin turn, I still walk diagonal, reverse turn, I walk diagonal. If I want to do a whisk, I walk diagonal. There's nowhere. It's like um, ice skating.